This was Sketch a couple days ago, but this was Sketch over seven years ago. Now he's one of the most popular streamers in the world, but what if he kept playing football? Would he still be a streamer, or would he have been an all-pro talent in the NFL? Let's find out. Okay, so we're currently on Sketch's huddle account. This was back when he was in high school. I'm just gonna blur out the high school just out of respect, but I mean, you could probably look it up anyway and find it. And watch a couple of his highlights. Blows up the goal line play. Okay, solid tackle. Look at him in coverage, man. It's like a it's like a Demario Davis clone. It's like a Fred Warner clone. Look at Sketch right there. Look at him blowing up the play. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, wait. Look at him. Look at him go out there. Sideline to sideline. And after a few modifications, Sketch was an NFL player. 79 overall rookie. Hidden Dev Sketch. Number 54 because he wore 54 as his high school number. And here are his attributes. And to make things fair, I'm gonna max out one stat bar. And I decided I was gonna max out tackling. I think I'm gonna go with tackling, max that stat out because if you saw from the videos, this man was wrapping up every single thing that was in his sight. And our goal this season was to win Rookie of the Year. But unfortunately for Sketch, he would have to beat out one of his teammates. CJ Stroud is a rookie, 80 overall Hidden Dev. Sketch and CJ have some history, so hopefully CJ can understand that we need to win this rookie of the year. But at the end of year one, we would fail to replicate what the Texans would do this past year. I don't know if he or CJ won rookie of the year because look at our record. Oh my God, CJ played terrible. 16 touchdowns to 20 interceptions. There's no way he won rookie of the year. Uh, let's see, what did Sketch do in his rookie year? 53 tackles, zero sacks, zero interceptions, five tackles for loss. But luckily enough for us, Sketch would be a superstar. Okay, well, he is a superstar dev, so that is beautiful. At the end of the year one, we're a superstar. At the start of year two, to sketch would recruit a new wide receiver to the team. Stephon Diggs is going to go from the Buffalo Bills to now being Sketch's teammate in Houston. Okay, heading into year two of Sketch's NFL career. He's an 83 overall. And as you can see, Will Anderson is a superstar because he did end up winning Defensive Rookie of the Year last year. Strides up to a 90 overall after his rookie year. And we now have Stephon Diggs to compliment not only he, but also Tank Dell and Nico Collins. And heading into season two, our goal would be just to simply lead the team in tackles. In year two, we would finish with an 11-6 record as the sixth best team in the nfl okay well we take a massive leap in year two of the sketch era 11 and 6 oh my god stroud had 34 touchdowns of two picks so okay to stephon diggs definitely helped rushing devin singletary went crazy okay we didn't have a single a thousand yard receiving leader but and let's see what did sketch do in year two he had 109 tackles two interceptions and five tackles for loss so he doubles his sack total in year two so we actually lead the team in tackles that is beautiful we're now an 86 overall. Oh my God. And what would be Sketch's first playoff game in his young NFL career? It would come against a division rival in the Jacksonville Jaguars. But Sketch is ready to lead his defense against Trevor Lawrence. As although his defense would give up a lot of points in this game, giving up 24 points, the Jaguars, CJ Stroud, and the offense would have his back. 27 to 24, we move on to the divisional round. Easy dubs. Stroud had a pretty solid first playoff game in his career. Five solo tackles, eight total tackles, and he had a sack. The man is baby Luke Keekly. Or we could call him Von Miller. He kind of looks like him too. But unfortunately, we would finally meet the inevitable. Okay, well, we are going to have to go on the road into Arrowhead. And Sketch is going to somehow have to play against Patrick Mahomes. But thankfully for Sketch, it was snowing. This would hopefully stop Patrick Mahomes. And yeah, nope, I'm lying. There is nothing. Not even a blizzard could have stopped Patrick Mahomes today. 38-21. Sketch and the defense didn't do a very good job playing defense. He would have 13 total tackles this game, though. 11 solo is crazy. So heading into year three, we are an 86 overall, which leads us into our next challenge, which is to surpass a 90 overall. So Sketch is going to have to have a really solid third year. With the offense now being filled with superstar and superstar X-Factor talent, we would end up winning the AFC South, hosting a playoff game. Stroud had a pretty solid year, 27 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Devin Singletary went crazy, my God. Nico Collins with 1,500 yards and 12 touchdowns. Okay, yeah, he is, he's him. And defensively, Sketch with 111 tackles, 6 tackles for loss, 1 sack, and 2 interceptions. And that gets him to a 9. Andy overall after that amazing season. Love to see it. Well, Anderson had seven and a half sacks. Stingley with uh, three interceptions. So Sketch literally only had one less interception than uh, Derek Stingley. But the Texans were finally back in the playoffs, looking to win yet another wild card round as they would cruise past the Tennessee Titans. Thanks to CJ Stroud's four touchdown game with Sketch racking in nine tackles as well. And that would give them a rematch of last year's playoff loss. This time we get to host Mahomes. So Mahomes gets 
to come to NRG Stadium. With CJ Stroud looking to avenge his last year's playoff loss, Mahomes wasn't going to make it easy in the beginning, but thanks to CJ Stroud and the Houston Texans defense, they would hold Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. We get revenge from last year and we move on to the AFC Championship. GG's Mahomes. My God, CJ Stroud had another four touchdown game with 300 yards. What did Sketch do? Did he have, he only had four tackles. Okay, so kind of took the uh, the day off, I guess. It, I, mean, I guess you don't really need to when uh, Stroud throws for uh, four touchdowns and puts up 42 points. But for the AFC Championship, we would unfortunately have to go on the road. All right, well, we are going to head to Cincinnati to take on Joey B. He is the 99 overall. That's great. And although the weather would play zero factor in this game like I thought it would, it must have given both offensive superpowers. Because this would be an absolute shootout with zero defense being played. The Texans would pull out with the dub at the last second. 41 to 38. Oh my God. The defenses just took off. There was just no defense being played whatsoever this game. And both quarterback stat lines represented that. <laughs> Joey B with five touchdowns. Stroud with another four touchdown game. My God. Yeah, Jamar Chase would have 162 yards and two touchdowns. So we just did not want to play defense on him, I guess. Defensively, Sketch would have nine tackles. And that's not bad at all. But nonetheless, we would now be in the Super Bowl. Well, it's going to be an in-state Super Bowl with the Dallas Cowboys at 10 and 7 and heading into this game we would have two superstar x-factor wide receivers with a 99 overall quarterback Stroud is a 99 overall with the plus four morale right now <laughs> I don't know how he's not a superstar x-factor but he's a 99 overall that is insane defense is still doing their thing we have a superstar defensive tackle that's uh what you love to see we still have four superstars on the defense and no superstar x-factors it's all good because yes yeah, sketch was in the Super Bowl and was one win away from being a Super Bowl champion and it wasn't going to be easy going up against the dallas cowboys but stroud was now a 99 overall so he was ready all right seven nothing just like that it's in the third quarter oh my god seven seven 14 seven a lot of defense is being played in this game 21 7 28 7 and yeah this would be a blowout well we don't come close to a super bowl we come close but we don't come close god this is depressing there was just no defense being played on our end whatsoever i mean cd lamb had 228 yards and two touchdowns guys are we serious? Derek Shingley, what are you doing? I mean, Sketch had five tackles. The lights were too bright. Year four, we're 92 overall. Still a superstar, but 92 overall is pretty solid. And our challenge this year is to lead the league in tackles. Okay, well, we sneak into the playoffs at nine and eight. The AFC just must be atrocious. Drow with 28 and seven. Not a terrible year by any means. Uh, Damian Pierce went crazy. Nico Collins went crazy. But Sketch had 119 tackles with three tackles for loss and three interceptions 119 bro that's gotta lead the nfl right no it doesn't oh my god it actually doesn't come close we are up to a 93 overall so i can't complain too much and also couldn't complain because we were still in the playoffs all right we've still got more ball to play except we're gonna be on the road this year against the colts and with the defense having to face off against ar-15 this playoff game D'Amico ryan's and sketch we're gonna have their hands full as we unfortunately let AR-15 dropped 28 points in a lopsided loss. Okay, a little bit of staff padding at the end, but yeah, this game wasn't close. Derek Stingley and Sketch were both our leading tacklers with 11 tackles. Sketch had two tackles for loss, so he actually didn't play bad. But heading into year five, I would get a bit of a surprise. Sketch is now officially a superstar X-Factor. 94 overall in year five. Love to see it. Stroud's up to a 98. Tank Dell, 92. Nico Collins, 95. And Stefan Diggs is regressing. Derek Stingley's unfortunately a star but christian Harris is a superstar with will anderson being a superstar x factor as well and for this season's challenge texans must have the best defense in the nfl i wouldn't be too confident in completing that challenge a star record would be eight and nine but we make the playoffs it's just we don't have a good record we finished with the 18th best defense okay points allowed 18th wow yeah that's not good dj would have a pretty mid-year not bad at all damian pierce continues to go crazy nico collins as well but where is sketch what are we looking like sketch 104 tackles three tackles for loss four sacks and interception so he has a career high in sacks with four with heading on the road to face 13 and four kansas city chiefs in the very first round this game wouldn't even be close and because of the chiefs always being on the field sketch would finish 
with 16 tackles. My God, Sketch had 16 tackles that entire game. That has to be a career high. In year six, we're a 98 overall. Oh my God, we were actually almost in the 99 overall club. Will Anderson is in the 99 overall club. Uh, Christian Harris, 87. Derek Stingley, 97 overall. But he's a star development. I literally don't get that. And Tank Dell, 93. Nico Collins, 96. Stroud, 99. And he's still somehow not a superstar X Factor. And this season's challenge would be, of course, to enter that 99 overall club. So we sneak into playoffs, winning the division at nine and eight. I'm not gonna complain. Stroud with an impressive season. I, it could be better. It could, it could have been a lot better. Nico Collins, 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns. And Sketch with 124 tackles, eight tackles for loss, and a sack. This is by far his best season. And we're a 99 overall on top of that. Joining the 99 overall club in season number six. We actually finished top 10 in tackles around the league, 124. Finished second among linebackers in tackles for loss. But despite being nine and eight, we'd be hosting the Cincinnati Bengals in the very first round of the playoffs, where we would get absolutely blown out. We'd sketch at 11 tackles, but that's probably because the defense was on the field the entire game. Year seven, and we're still a 99 overall. No regression here, love to see it. Browns now a superstar X Factor. Nico Collins up to a 98, Tank Dell up to a 94. Will Anderson still a 99. Derek Stingley is up to a 98, but he's still a star dev. Our challenge this year is to win the Super Bowl. I believe this is the year, and we fail to make the playoffs at 9 and 8. Sketch had 115 tackles, three TFLs, one and a half sacks, and one interception. Brown didn't play that bad either, so I, I, yeah, I don't know. And to end the season, Sketch would end up retiring. Sketch retires after eight seasons. Man was still a 99 overall, so I don't know why he retired. Maybe he wanted to stream. Maybe he just got CTE. I don't know. But to answer the question, if Sketch made the right career choice, that's up for you to decide. Let me know down below. But in the meantime, check out this video right here. YouTube thinks you'll like it. And I think you'll like it. So chances are you'll like it.